Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So we're now in week 11. Uh, uh, I have a, not been a responsive in uh, the last week since uh, uh, because of my uh, personal reason. Uh, sorry to neglect. And I'll uh, make it whole uh, for the 14th week through the end of this term, and perhaps you'll get it uh, in integration uh, for the whole of uh, the subject, American uh, legal system and law and public policy. In this class, uh, we'll uh, discuss uh, some of global issues and public policy, and also, uh, we could have some uh, insights about uh, public policy uh, with a specific example, what I've uh, touched on a USTL, uh, an International uh, Trade Administration. Uh, uh, typically, a characteristic when we uh, approach a, a national context of a public administration. So they uh, would often act in the what a international uh, uh, trade regime. So well, quite uh, in some cases interactive with uh, uh, international authority, and they would be also a prime engineer, uh, for example, uh, because of their uh, uh, influence in others uh, to share uh, the common ideas for trade liberalization and what non-discrimination, well, which is actually considered as level uh, feel, uh, playing field for fairness of trade. Uh, what is uh, uh, fairness? Uh, and, uh, prevention of arbitrariness and fairness is uh, actually ultimate ideal the public uh, policy makers uh, often envisage. And what a special focus, uh, perhaps uh, two or thirds of this class would be elaborated on uh, uh, the law of public employment. Yeah? So consider uh, the what the structure of uh, uh, the subject. Eh? What the, uh, it uh, will enable us to have a holistic viewpoint when. Uh, we consider the actors, stakeholders involved. Uh, and often the administrative role and public policy uh, would uh, be uh, uh, viewed in a uh, what uh, inactive a uh, profile between what outsiders and uh, agencies. Uh, so uh, you can identify the kind of a client-like client -like relationship to the agency. Who are those? Eh? A typically, regulated, uh, uh, large regulated corporations, uh, commercial broadcasters, for example. And uh, actually, uh, the po uh, political address would be uh, in scope, uh, for example, and many uh, uh, players and. Uh, entities uh, and typically in that context you will have some uh, insight about the uh, modern capitalism so uh, the uh, role of agency uh, could be created in more ambition uh, to in response with, uh, in <coughs> resp uh, response with the development of a capitalism so how how uh, could they ensure a social justice? Uh, and how do you promote uh, the uh, economy, uh, national economy and others? Uh, what actually uh, a web of uh, interest and a policy uh, points of consideration would uh, involve uh, to uh, 
create the uh, what, uh, rules and uh, in the context of implementing uh, the uh, public policies. Oh. Then uh, this class would uh, uh, be some uh, uh, what actually a, a typical uh, if it considers a uh, some uh, weird issue. What it is. so we now deal with the insiders uh, within uh, the public organ, which, uh, however. Uh, would uh, be very uh, significant uh, uh, given a many a, a what a, a viewpoint. Well, we uh, once considered the Weberian concept of a bureaucracy, uh, and bureaucratic sociology is now uh, not a, a, a unusual word. We uh, could. Uh, Get to be minded about uh, many uh, dealing, public dealings, and uh, points of uh, uh, consideration. Eh? Uh, so, how do we save uh, uh, some uh, adequate uh, rule about the public employment? Is very uh, uh, implicating. Eh? You uh, consider. Uh, then, uh, what do you expect it to be progress? Uh, for example, uh, you may consider a termination hearing about a dismissal of public employees, and you may also imagine the kind of competitive exam uh, to step the public office, which uh, would uh, be uh, in comparison. Uh, oh, but, uh, not uh, exactly in contrast, uh, but it uh, complements uh, to uh, uh, complements this poor system. And uh, the history also is very uh, uh, in flavor, or what you consider, for example, the uh, Pendleton Act in the late of 19th centuries. And also, uh, you uh, know uh, the uh, Lloyd and LaFollette Act. Eh? Uh, which uh, what actually is uh, the pioneering uh, uh, work product about uh, the important piece of legislation uh, to orient uh, the uh, kind of a, a bureaucratic uh, uh, normative a bureaucracy. So uh, determination will now be a contended uh, uh, by way of a, a a hearing or what a kind of opportunity to be heard. A, you consider the due process, procedural due process is now uh, advanced a, to uh, uh, remedy the a, a personnel affairs in the bureaucracy. And that a historical context. Uh, would what actually ignite kind of a, a system in the United States? Uh, uh, who is uh, La Follette, for example? He is uh, one of uh, eminent uh, progressive politician. Polit uh, what he is born in the uh, state of Wisconsin and studied law in uh, the law school, and uh, he uh, is one of uh, important uh, figure. About equal suffrage uh, was uh, uh, mentioned about a uh, fair uh, opportunity to participate in national politics. And that. Uh, uh, he so the kind of a, a reform and a progress, uh, social progress uh, was uh, well charted uh, across the turn of the last century. And uh, the Pendleton Act uh, also be understood in the context. And later, uh, that uh, initiative was a, a very systemized uh, by a follow-up uh, works, a uh, uh, enactment. Uh, what is? Uh, 
civil service reform act of 1983, for example, an equal pay act uh, uh, to ensure uh, same pay for the identical jobs. Uh, it may uh, expand, for example, the kind of concept comparable words. Eh? So now uh, the uh, quest for or equal pay, uh, what a uh, among uh, different races, uh, sex typically uh, sex is in uh, ethnic um, uh, uh, minorities or others uh, would uh, be expanded. Uh, uh, for example, uh, who are uh, the nurses uh, from University of East, uh, Washington? It is a public uh, university, as you know, and the context could uh, uh, be investigated in our framework. Uh, you consider uh, uh, subtleties and uh, basically in uh, uh, the sort of a structure, uh, you consider uh, the prime, uh, the, uh, you need to make it distinct uh, between private and public yeah. Employment, so the theory might be expanding to prior terms, but basically we now uh, stay in uh, the public context of a, a employment. Uh, uh, some loose form would be uh, dealt in terms of a government contractual program, for example. So. Uh, for example, uh, the uh, city of Richmond versus Coles, uh, you will <coughs> have some uh, court uh, elaboration about affirmative action, uh, the uh, non uh, uh, minority uh, private contractors are not uh, obligated to set a quarters, uh, or the racial quarters for the uh, subsidiary contractor. So the uh, the affirmative action is an important a public uh, agenda in the United States, and the court would often consider the uh, uh, compulsory quarters would uh, not be sustained. It is uh, often declared that constitutional. However, as you consider in a Becker case, what uh, the uh, public uh, university may. Uh, uh, be allowed to uh, consider the racial factors in the admission uh, decision process. However, the uh, quarters uh, could not be uh, uh, could not survive. Right? It uh, should be struck down. And so the co uh, the law of call over the course of a, a issues and a points of contention is uh, uh, still important, uh, which is the uh, same with other uh, uh, subjects we uh, uh, discussed over uh, this term. Uh, so uh, the, uh, the court holding and uh, the rules developed by a judicial authority Often is important uh, to uh, what a uh, substantiate uh, the uh, void of a illustrative initiative. So you may uh, recall uh, on the same uh, structure and context. Uh, I have uh, said the uh, judicial authority is important in terms of. Uh, what oversight and uh, the kind of a rule of law ideas we expect in the public uh, relationships. Eh? Uh, the issue uh, dealt in uh, this class is a little uh, esoteric since it uh, actually uh, triggers the internal affairs, a personal affairs. Uh, nonetheless, it uh, the court law is very extensive, you consider, since the uh, legislative uh, products are uh, not uh, very extensive practically. So what is uh, uh, the exact meaning in this specific context? So the court often uh, 
uh, is not advanced to uh, render it uh, uh, invalid on its face. Often the court uh, uh, stated that uh, the specific measure should be deemed unconstitutional uh, as applied. So uh, the court authority is fairly determinative uh, for the uh, individual uh, and the, what actually uh, specific grievances raised in the context of public uh, employment. Uh, so uh, I have illustrated uh, some of uh, uh, what, uh, what landmark cases uh, in this area of uh, concern. Uh, and one other uh, uh, statute, which is milestone uh, in the wake of a, a reform, a Civil Rights Act, uh, which is actually an important uh, a piece of legislation uh, to promote the a, what a insulate classes of society in the United States, and uh, so actually coupled to uh, support the uh, a Bill of Rights uh, enshrined in uh, the Constitution. Uh, and that uh, statute uh, also uh, is uh, influential uh, in uh, shaping the understanding of this uh, concern. And uh, in the course of discussion, uh, we'll consider other uh, points of uh, uh, in terms of protections for public uh, uh, employees. Eh? Uh, often, uh, it is substantial, uh, substantive eh? uh, against the procedural aspect of concern. So uh, you will now well uh, be burst of a, a, a the Matthews doctrine about due process of concept, and the concept is foundational through the a, a controversies involving uh, public employment. Uh, so actually, the court uh, considered the three distinct factors: what is the harm uh, to be a incurred by the parties of uh, grievances. Eh? So the extent of harm is one factor, uh, and uh, the court may uh, see it uh, unacceptable if the harm is so great without a, a due afford of a, a uh, constitutional procedure, uh, procedure to be heard, opportunity to be heard, to raise the dissent and uh, present a, a, a Supportive ed evidence is in favor of uh, his case. And uh, uh, what are others? Eh? So uh, the government interest is actually counter Uh So the uh, gravity of government interest uh, about uh, what a, a provision of a, a process is also considered. Eh? And the kind of a uh, point was uh, uh, discussed uh, last week, as was I guess through, and uh, the uh, uh, content of rights, uh, for example, right to counsel and uh, adversary proceeding would uh, be most advanced form uh, to be afforded. Uh, so uh, please, uh, once again, uh, uh, please recall uh, the dealings uh, what uh, uh, delivered in the pre uh, last class about uh, Matthew's doctrine. The context we now will think about is about substantive rights uh, uh, provided by a Bill of Rights, uh, notably a uh, freedom of political expression would uh, get into our uh, share. Uh, so uh, assume if the uh, teachers of 
uh, public college, uh, public universities uh, may uh, may uh, make a critical uh, uh, statement about it and uh, the point of a uh, was what a then uh, is it uh, legitimate uh, uh, to uh, dismiss without uh, guaranteeing any a uh, due procedure about uh, is well, uh, often uh, for example consider uh, the uh, Ross case eh? He is uh, a one uh, example. Uh, he, he served in uh, the public university, University of Wisconsin, Oshkoshi, and uh, he actually uh, worked on uh, the basis of contract, a one year, one uh, year term. So uh, his expectation uh, would uh, be slim to be rehired. Actually, no uh, concept of property right uh, could be uh, bred in that context. Uh, the, the university uh, decided uh, not to rehire the uh, one-year contract uh, professor and without no reason being given uh, to that uh, a, a group party. Uh, and uh, the court uh, approached the, uh, the issue uh, from the purview of a, a proper concept. Uh, what you uh, will know was some important uh, research work uh, titled The New Property. Uh, it was published uh, uh, by what uh, Charles Wright, a uh, Yale Law professor in 1964, and a very influential work about this area of concern. So, uh, as I've said, uh, the concept uh, would uh, be uh, between uh, entitlements and privilege. Uh, but often in uh, uh, that attribute of a, a relationship, we uh, may only uh, find the uh, context of privilege. It, it just uh, an expectation uh, uh, that could be obtained in uh, compliance with the contractual terms and others. So they have uh, no... Uh, a uh, strong uh, voice to forge their interest as a property right, so could not uh, uh, safely argue that he should be entitled to due process to be heard. Kind of. And also the uh, context of dismissal is very subtle. Uh, given uh, his chance to be re uh, rehired in another public university. So the court uh, may have some implied uh, concession uh, about uh, uh, the need uh, to uh, not to announce uh, the uh, publicly the reason to dismiss the employee. Uh, so uh, it uh, actually uh, 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 entails uh, 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 and, uh, some uh, uh, subtle point uh, uh, to affect the interest of both parties. So uh, the court may sustain uh, the uh, position of university about uh, its non-mentioning of reason of dismissal and no the kind of a, a fine administration uh, in that uh, sense. Uh, if uh, consider, however, the university would give some uh, stated reason and may be available uh, to the public notice, then uh, the court might uh, see it adequate to provide some uh, hearings or, or any chances uh, 
uh, to protest the procedurally uh, the dismissal. And uh, the protections uh, could make this claim, uh, for example, about a, a some anti-employer uh, criticism, the kind of a, a what a defamation about uh, uh, board of region uh, for the college pub uh, colleges, uh, which uh, would be public, uh, of course. So uh, the case of Sindeman uh, could be coupled uh, uh, so uh, which uh, would illuminate the difficulties uh, about uh, a proper uh, ruling. Uh, is a faculty member at Odessa uh, Tax Junior College and uh, previously been employed at six other Texas junior colleges and for uh, three years at Odessa pursuant to series of one-year contracts. When he came into conflict with the College Board of Residents for the advocating the school will become a four-year college. So this is uh, what a, a school reform as one of strategy, what is a personal belief uh, might be a personal belief uh, for a decent education. Uh, he actively criticized the residents and advertisement critical of the residents appeared in newspaper of his name. Further, because he was the elected president of Texas Junior College Teachers Association, he sometimes missed classes in order to testify before the state legislature. So a very active figure uh, to make a social cause and reform. Uh, at the end of his fourth junior year, the reasons for the not for him another one-year contract. The reasons commented on Sindeman's alleged insubordination in a press release, but provided neither an official statement of the reason for the run renewal of the contract, nor the opportunity of hearing where Sindeman to try to revert any charges. Sindeman brought alleging violations of his Fourth Amendment right to free speech and his Fourteenth Amendment right to due process in the form of a hearing. The district court granted summary judgment against Sindeman, but the appellate court reversed. Uh, and eventually, uh, the Supreme Court affirmed uh, the lower court decision. Uh, so, uh, the uh, substantive element, uh, also one other factor you need to consider uh, in combination with the procedural requirement, well, we now are given a due process uh, of law by the uh, Constitution. Uh, and also, what are others? A, a right of privacy uh, should arise in, uh, in the context of public employment. Uh, and uh, this uh, concept is uh, quite uh, powerful, you can see, the, uh, to uh, extend uh, the original ambit of a Bill of Rights. Eh? So I have once mentioned in the constitutional class, uh, you uh, see uh, the penumbra of uh, constitutional rights. Eh? So what uh, actually the Bill of Rights is uh, expressly ordained, but in a narrow scope uh, about the uh, provision and languages. And uh, the catch-all clause uh, is available, as you can see. The so the right of privacy is fairly uh, extended uh, about human uh, dignity and many uh, new uh, generations of uh, human rights. And in uh, comparison, you'll consider an, uh, what a well, radical evolution about generations of human rights, a fourth generation human rights, 
second generation human rights on the basis of a uh, continental states in Europe, so the German uh, constitution, and now uh, be incorporated into uh, the UN uh, framework about uh, human rights. Eh? Uh, so actually, uh, you may uh, consider uh, the concept of human rights is evolutionary, and uh, actually uh, adapting with the changing circumstances. Uh, the, how do we catch uh, them uh, uh, beyond the express mandate of a constitutional provision? The concept uh, right of privacy would be most uh, influential. And, uh, actually, uh, uh, the right is the uh, uh, coined by uh, one uh, uh, influential uh, legal scholar you consider, and the article was now uh, one of the most cited ones in a uh, uh, legal circle. And uh, very impacting uh, through the practice of a, a, a Supreme Court of the United States. Uh, and uh, uh, the same nomenclature uh, in dealing human rights were incorporated uh, in uh, initiation of Korean constitutional scholars, but in uh, the last uh, reform, uh, what, what is uh, the, the 1987 uh, uh, Constitution of Republic Korea as one uh, provision in express terms. Uh, nonetheless, uh, in the United context, uh, the scope uh, would uh, rather uh, potential to be expanded eh? uh, since uh, it uh, has no bearing with the express provisions, but uh, theoretically foundational to create uh, any new uh, uh, concept of human rights. Uh, and uh, uh, the right of privacy was uh, well, one eminent example would involve the uh, right to abortion, uh, uh, which is uh, quite uh, practical about uh, the shaping of female uh, life cycles, you consider. Uh, the, uh, yeah. So female interest is uh, very dependent on this concept, for example, right to abortion and how to shape the uh, and also uh, what is that a, 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 the personal appearance uh, is also uh, discussed in uh, this ambit right of privacy and uh, the important uh, precedent uh, Perhaps would be a, a, a Roe versus Wade, you can see that. And uh, the court uh, delivered a very uh, uh, ordinary rule about right to abortion. Uh, so it is foundational. And also, uh, the uh, later development would involve uh, uh, the case titled. Uh, Webster and this uh, and uh, the uh, court uh, position uh, is not well settled, uh, however, unfortunately. Uh, so in that uh, case, uh, uh, the court uh, saw it uh, uh, very limited uh, about the uh, right to abortion. So the uh, mother uh, no longer uh, seek any extended protection of, about uh, free abortion in uh, the public hospital. So uh, the issue would be viewed uh, in terms that uh, uh, the uh, 
life of fetus uh, is how much extended about a, a, a the privacy interest uh, of his biological mother. So consider uh, the case. Initially, the right of privacy uh, was uh, discussed uh, uh, in Griswold versus Connecticut. Eh? The Supreme Court in 1965 suggested the Constitution protects a penumbra of right, uh, rights implied by, but not stated in the Bill of Rights itself. One of these has loosely been uh, called the right uh, of privacy. And uh, when the government places conditions of public employment, the conflict with an individual privacy rights, the courts apply a balancing test. As the dissenting opinion in Kelly v. Johnson makes clear, the members of current court disagree not only with the outcome of a majority weighing process, but with the very idea the fundamental rights, such as privacy, should be balanced against the governmental interest. So the balancing test is one of a common uh, way of approach about a, a constitutional controversy. Uh, you will uh, see some uh, weightier process or elevated concept of uh, uh, about a strict scrutiny or intermediate scrutiny. So the structure is f uh, fairly uh, notable. Uh, uh, what about the uh, uh, gender uh, equality uh, in terms of this frame? Eh? So intermediary uh, scrutiny would be adequate. Uh, but against uh, uh, some other worse context of discrimination, race or minorities. And uh, in uh, other cases, the balancing, uh, balancing test would be prevalent, uh, which uh, requires a, uh, some lesser uh, standard uh, about the constitutional compliance. Eh? You consider a... So, the, what uh, is the concept compelling uh, state interest? Eh? It is uh, the world often uh, uh, used in uh, the strict scrutiny. And what is uh, the word that is? A, a, the controversy over privacy as constitutional right is grounded uh, in very different uh, interpretations, but what rights are protected by constitution? What are legitimate uh, state interests, and, uh, and also uh, how do we balance uh, between uh, the harms and the government interest? Eh? Uh, so the uh, court uh, would not be seen uh, on consistent inconsistency about a time element because in some uh, terms uh, conservative uh, major, uh, ethos would uh, be more stronger uh, stronger uh, and in other cases we see it as contrary yeah. uh, while the court in Roe versus Wade, uh, this is 1975, formed the interpretation of privacy in Griswold versus Connecticut, a new conservative majority in the court has indicated the right uh, may no longer be fundamental, at least for women who seek abortions from public hospitals. So it is uh, exactly the holding. Uh, confirmed in uh, the case Webster versus the Reproductive Health Service, says in 1989. Uh, so the right of, uh, to privacy is under attack, not only in the area of abortion, but in other areas directly affecting the rights of a public employment. Uh, so uh, one of a frequent uh, issue raised in the context of public employment uh, actually includes the mandatory uh, drug testing. 
The drug policies of Reagan and Bush administration specifically target public employees. Then, the question is, should the right of privacy prevent the government from implementing mandatory drug screening program for public employees? So, uh, assume if you are a job applicant for a library uh, page for a public library. So the public library, is, so which comes into our, our frame, consider. Uh, then, is it permissible uh, so actually, uh, it uh, involves very a uh, difficult uh, issue. What a, in the case titled "Lenny vs. City of Urban," decided in uh, 2008. Uh, Reveal uh, the context of a, a contention, and also you will uh, now be illustrated with one other recent uh, controversy about uh, sexual orientation of public employees. It, uh, it, uh, the controversy was raised uh, from uh, the Air Force in the United States. Don't ask, don't tell policy. What is that? So, uh, you may see it uh, adequate uh, that the government has a right to know uh, one's uh, sexual orientation and whether such information constitutes uh, grounds for a discharge. So, how much uh, the right of privacy uh, could be ensured? Eh? Uh, it, it is actually uh, now contended. Eh? Uh, I suppose... Uh, if it would not be appealed to the Supreme Court, the final ruling uh, could be identified in Ninth Circuit in a two uh, to one ruling. The court agreed to the extent it found applicable the strict scrutiny test of laws constitutionality rather than the less stringent rational relationship test and remanded the case back to the district court to determine the degree of governmental interest advanced by the law. So what does it mean? Often uh, the strict scrutiny means the case uh, would be condemned on the constitutional ground. So it actually it falls within uh, kind of a personhood, a eh? province of personhood. Uh, but uh, there would be some uh, need about a, a public need uh, to intrude uh, uh, the privacy of person uh, in permissible ways. Uh, nonetheless, it still could be a Indecent, indecent uh, in uh, the uh, prevailing uh, sensibility of uh, U.S. citizen that uh, uh, what, uh, could it deserve a confidential? And uh, you also uh, need to know the uh, Title uh, Seven of Civil Rights Act of 1964, it prohibits discrimination on the basis of color, race, uh, re uh, religion, sex, national origin in uh, employment uh, decisions. Eh? Uh, so the act uh, affects both hiring and firing decisions. The statute itself states no concrete definition of discretion. Uh, discrimination, although it does expressly prohibit uh, discriminating against employees or job applicants uh, who have protested or otherwise tried to uh, correct alleged discrimination. So, uh, as I uh, stated, the code uh, plays an uh, what actually pivotal role 
to dispose of specific cases and which actually uh, uh, could complement the void or insufficiency of a, a, a statute of specificities. A, uh, the course have on the main task of formulating uh, the specific meaning of discrimination and shaping the evidence that those leading discrimination must prove to sustain the case. And in understanding of the, the statute of frames of this act, uh, you may consider three distinct factors a evil motive and uh, what are, uh, are this? A disc on discrete impact and differential treatment. The kind of concept is actually uh, essential uh, to create uh, a specific rules in concrete uh, basis of a controversy. Uh, and uh, according to the title, uh, the agreed party must show prima facie that he or she belongs to racial minority that he applied and was qualified for a job the employer was trying to fill, that he was uh, rejected, and that thereafter the employer continued to seek applicants with the plaintiff's qualification. Uh, one of the uh, important cases uh, concerning this uh, uh, Title uh, seven is a McDonnell uh, Douglas Corp versus Green. A green involved a private corporation, but the same rules of proof apply in nearly all respects to public employers. However, as the next case, uh, Washington versus uh, Davis, uh, decided subsequently in 1976, indicate the standards for proving discrimination are now always the same for the public and private sector. So uh, perhaps a different uh, standard would be due and adequate. Uh, because of uh, many reasons that you expect. And often uh, the public uh, employer uh, may uh, well be seen to dismiss uh, the employee uh, without stating uh, no specific uh, reason or any uh, the kind of a virtual uh, concept. The Adwell uh, doctrine is notable uh, in uh, the employment relationships in terms of a uh, law and uh, uh, jurisprudence you consider and uh, that is uh, foundational as you see uh, since it uh, arises from uh, basically uh, the uh, contractual Understanding eh? what meeting of minds, employment contract. Uh, so, Eric uh, doctrine is actually prevailing through the uh, labor laws, and uh, you consider many uh, reforms in the uh, states of European continent, and EU has many uh, uh, advanced form of a uh, public dealings uh, to revamp the uh, harshness of uh, Edwell doctrine. Uh, and uh, the uh, beginning point would perhaps differ uh, in uh, that point of consideration. Uh, the context may uh, be delicate uh, when we uh, enter into the public uh, employment. Uh, and uh, the court uh, would see it uh, indispensable to ensure loyalty and faith from public employees in some ca uh, cases. Uh, however, so uh, uh, may uh, uh, permit uh, uh, some uh, harsh results, but that would uh, not be uh, consistent through all uh, the differences uh, between private and public. In some cases, uh, private uh, forms of employment uh, uh, would be less protected. So the extent is uh, uh, made uh, 
diff as different uh, on a case by case basis. Uh, for example, consider uh, one uh, prosecutor was transferred a, a to uh, some uh, undesirable uh, position because uh, based on the finding that the superior will see it, uh, uh, what is actually uh, this uh, unpleasant um, to hear the kind of criticism about it. So uh, consider uh, the structure in uh, this uh, frame. Eh? Uh, what a private, uh, the what uh, conduct was uh, speech acts uh, in, as a private citizen. Uh, and uh, it uh, might be a pure or a, a private, uh, uh, which uh, should be uh, emancipated <laughs> from any uh, constitutional uh, obligation. Uh, in other cases, you may encounter uh, uh, the uh, speech act or uh, conduct uh, as a private citizen, but uh, that uh, uh, Content of statement of uh, any expression would uh, uh, be a, the kind of a public concerns. Eh? Uh, then, uh, how do you differentiate between two situations? And assume a folder if uh, the officers would act in uh, as capacity as officer. So it, 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 the uh, context is uh, official, and also uh, the content uh, of speech or other behavior uh, could be public or private. So four uh, blocks could uh, be well uh, formed uh, to make it plain. Uh, of course, it depends uh, on... Uh, uh, subtleties of case in, uh, involved. Uh, so, uh, in uh, that case, the prosecutor uh, made a uh, uh, statement or uh, opinion about worse preparation uh, filed by a police officer. The sp uh, so, his criticism uh, might uh, be intense uh, to provoke uh, a uh, what well, uh, anger of a superior or some uh, uh, then he, he was ordered uh, to be transferred to a uh, position and he, he denied eh? uh, uh, is a job command uh, then uh, he was dismissed then uh, consider uh, is it permissible to kind of uh, the code uh, would not see it uh, revocable, the decision of dismissal revocable, uh, since uh, the controversy is a uh, Controversy has arisen in the official uh, capacity of a conduct. Uh, how do you see it uh, plausible? And uh, what is substantive uh, nature of expression? Of course, it is a, a, a public concern since he, he argued on. Acceptability of a, a official document, uh, which is uh, are actually uh, as related with his uh, uh, official duty. Uh, I have uh, accepted one uh, picture. Kyoso is uh, what a, a, a popular in uh, South Korea. It's, uh, now serves as an incumbent congressman, later elected uh, 
Oh, I'm sure uh, he was uh, made into that office uh, as a matter of law. Uh, uh, might be in order of succession about the vacancy of uh, his successor. In any case, he is now a congressman and he uh, is controversial about course of his uh, 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 official uh, service, a uh, long uh, pledge to uh, on uh, the role of a as a critic uh, about a, a Supreme Court policy and uh, what uh, do you consider if he is a whistleblower? And, uh, I'm not sure if he is a whistleblower. And, uh, you, uh, uh, the United States has uh, the act to protect the, the interest of whistleblowers. Uh, the whistleblowers uh, often considered as uh, most of evils uh, in terms of organizational or uh, what the purpose, he, so he might be uh, condemned uh, seriously from his colleagues and uh, heads of organization others. Uh, nonetheless, it uh, would be a good source of a public uh, advancement. Eh? So, uh, information needed to uh, ensure uh, assure a Social justice uh, could be uh, uh, could stem from uh, the, uh, what the, the work of whistleblowers. Uh, he made a, a influential speech to uh, change the society or organization. So uh, the statute uh, was arranged to protect the whistleblowers in due context. Of course, uh, there is competing interest about the context of uh, issue, uh, development, and other, and many. So it, uh, the prank card was read at what, uh, judge announced the resignation, and his, the people of his support uh, gathered uh, to congratulate the, his in any case, he was about uh, uh, to be resigned you know, from uh, many pressures and others, uh, and he uh, failed to obtain a, a renewal by the Supreme Court authority. So, uh, compare uh, two cases about the public prosecutor in the state of California, in the United States, and the judge of a uh, Republic of Korea. He, perhaps uh, the standard would be more stringent about protection of public employees. Uh, in South Korea, so uh, Sokyo is actually a long uh, good worker uh, in light of a Critical law against the prevailing policy of judiciary, but he was led uh, to be it practice. What well, carry his official uh, he, he was uh, for uh, no disadvantage for, uh, about transfer orders. So, but uh, eventually he uh, was dismissed since he. he Uh, comparable and uh, reminiscent there. And who is this figure? Uh, it uh, depicts uh, this uh, 20th President of the United States, uh, was named uh, Garfield. He served a very short uh, period of uh, presidential terms, uh, 200 days. Uh, he was the second of four, uh, four presidents in the United States history who was assassinated. Eh? Assassin uh, is a mad office seeker. And I have mentioned uh, the Pendleton Act and uh, the stage of a uh, 
uh, the turn of a uh, last century in the United States, and many uh, public system and institution who uh, evolve around times. Eh? Uh, uh, typically, we know the support system in the United States is actually very uh, uh, strong and uh, in, uh, persistent. Uh, nonetheless, a piece of a, a reform has been witnessed in this period of time. Eh? So, Pendleton Act. Uh, what they. Lloyd Lafourier Act of 1917, uh, 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 the President Garfield was classman and lawyer, uh, later uh, studied law and become a lawyer, and entered into Ohio Bar as a member, and elected, uh, and his uh, initial uh, uh, drive was uh, to uh, remedy a, the sports system, perhaps. Uh, so he uh, likes to uh, elect public officers based on competitive exam. So uh, you know, Kosi in Oriental practice, uh, long, uh, long persist of history. Now we have uh, some modified form of institution, you can see that. Uh, so, uh, President Garfield uh, uh, made an effort, uh, well, actually, uh, to disrupt the Conkle crowd. Eh? Who is Conkle? Uh, Senator uh, Rosco Conkle. Uh, is based on uh, New York's uh, state and uh, his leading spoilers of day. And one other figure, uh, Chester uh, A. Arthur, uh, who was totally supported uh, his position. Arthur became uh, vice president under uh, James Garfield in 1881. Garfield soon offended the Conquer crowd by refusing to make any of the spoils uh, appointments by, uh, they recommended. Uh, four months after uh, the election of a frustrated and presumably mad office seeker associated, associated with the Conquer crowd, fatally shot President Garfield. Eh? On assuming the presidency, Arthur sincerely shocked by the assassination turned against the support system, and with much general public support, but promoted uh, adoption of the Pendleton Act. However, uh, this is uh, fairly a small uh, plan. Eh? Uh, in that act, only uh, 14,000 uh, employees were initially covered by that. However, through an interesting political dynamic, uh, politicians steadily expanded its scope. This occurred because the act permitted the presidency by executive order to expand its coverage. So, executive order is now uh, a great avenue uh, through uh, the presidential uh, policy, as we consider, for example, what is RPO. Representative political appointees, and many uh, important system uh, significant to address the administrative uh, needs in the United States uh, was rendered in the form of an executive order. As new president took office, they deliberately expanded the act to cover their own political appointees so as to freeze them in their jobs after the president's term ended. The Pendleton Act itself provides few modern legal protections. And Justice William Rankest in uh, Arnett versus Kennedy noted the very limited nature of his protections. So, uh, uh, so uh, 
actually, uh, truly, it is limited since it, the act uh, merely uh, deals with the uh, what uh, impro- uh, what uh, recruitment of public offices. Eh? As I've said, for example, competitive examinations and the concept uh, of a classified service, for example, would be introduced la- in later uh, development of uh, less la- uh, legislation. And also promotion, what a, a, a remuneration of public employees and typical, uh, more importantly, determination of a, a, a public employment would not be dealt in this act. So all uh, other elements uh, except uh, the uh, recruitment uh, uh, would be uh, forgone and waived. Uh, No uh, chapters in this act. In this act. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Time is up. Uh, There will be uh, the or for uh, this fourth session, and uh, we'll see soon in the second session of this class. Thank you for your attention.